So I have like what, like three or four gold teeth now? I have three gold teeth, nice. Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. Just be patient, dear. Never be part of in charge of a switch. He doesn't watch to get any work done. Oh my god, say it's a nice watch, where'd you get it? Bought it from this gal who runs a store south of here. Name a button willow. Button willow. Big big something. Where's the store exactly? Oh you can't miss it's right between the a cactus and a different cactus. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. She's not getting much track laid, but she's an expert whistler. She's singing the theme song of the show. Or the game. I don't know why I said show. The theme song of the game. You approach the beleaguered looking man with the tiny glasses. Howdy there. Who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm being charitable, I say the fellow over there in the white hat is the foreman. He points to the man next to you, and you're not? Uh, he smiles. Then I'd say that paperback idiot over there with the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. Arnie, thanks. Hi, are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I can do to help. You want to know something? I love trains. Oh, ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. <laughs> when the opportunity arose to take management of this rail line, I jumped on it like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you'll ever imagine. You want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreign. I'm going on to play with the models as well. Cool. So I'm the new foreman. Guess I'm the boss now. Man looks you up and down. Well, no, I suppose you can't be any worse than that last clown. He extends his hand. Name's Smee. I'm your assistant. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure to miss, this, miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyors say there isn't any other suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute around it even if we had months it'd take. Had the months it'd take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculations, we could we could dynamite it clear without too much prob trouble. The problem is to take a lot of dynamite, a whole dynamite, a whole year's worth. I figure if we we used to keep that much on hand for emergencies such as this one, put a pack of goblins stolen, all sneaky little varmints. All right, we'll get that back for you. Gustavon Gulch. All right. Let's go to a uh, Coleridge mine first, though. You encounter an overturned wagon, shown by ruined books and broken pairs of spectacles. Looks like a family of especially literate hosters. By <laughs> uh, untimely end here. Tragic. Jesus. You pour over the whatever the fuck that is. I managed to find exactly one book. You both that is both undestroyed and remotely interesting. You. Oh, nice. I'll read that as soon as I get here, actually. Skill lets you recover HP in combat. Increases your muscle. Increases your speed. I want healing. Healing sounds useful. Origin. We have to be careful. This row of lockers here must have been used for storing the personal effects of the fellows who used to work in this mine. First one is like an Ellsbury WM and doesn't have a lock on it. The label on the second one is covered in some kind of white goo. Ew. Third one is labeled Loose Ben. There's a combination lock on it. Uh, open the first locker. There's a helmet and a bottle of uh, down on them. Can I open the third one? Well, darn. Uh, you open the door to reveal a skeleton covered in the same white goo that was on the outside of the locker. Ah, you get it. This guy must have died after co-workers put a prank on him. They stuff in his locker full of shaving cream. All right, buddy. Let's fight then. Oh, you are very powerful. Can you reassure me, buddy? Damn, you are powerful. Get him, Pete. I almost called you Steve. I don't know why I called, was almost calling you Steve. Get him, Pete. I got him. Pew. That kind of hurts, but, you know. I'm basically just going to shoot him to death. Pew. He's dead. 
Skeleton bones, skull chips, handful of loose teeth. Nice. Gimme. Gimme. Nothing in that car, alright. Well, if somebody's a 30 foot shot, I'm gonna need a rope or something. Brick! I think I have any. Love my plunker. Well, there's not really nothing for us here. Let's go to the old mission. He's something that picks up. He spits on it and gives it a polish on his sleeve. Well, looky there. Find something. A lump of acylite. What you jerk. What you call jerk's gold. Is that like fool's gold? Similar, except it's poisonous. He throws the rock away and washes his hands from his canteen. Pete has grown stronger. Okay, then. Anything around here? Nope, let's just go inside. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what's wrong, sister? They came back, they just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, whoa, slow down, all right? What happened? Uh, our holy relics, the saints just stormed up out of the catacombs and took them back. Wow, I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The Cardinal will be here any minute. What am I going to do? To start with, take a deep breath and try to calm down, okay? What's your name? I'm. I'm Sister Mary. Yeah, she did Rick burp. That's canon. <laughs> My name's Charles McButters. Now, what a. What's this about saints? Our mission's uh, mission is to protect the sacred relics, and I'm the relic keeper. It's a secret job to look out to them. Wait, they call you Memento. Ma <laughs> she shows you the ruler and you're talking to her sleeve. No, they do not. That's what happened. The saints. Oh, it's too horrible. They just came to life somehow. They. Came up out of the catacombs, all skeletal and gassy looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say it, but I nearly fainted. And they took back their relics? Yes, and if they aren't recovered before the Cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. Uh-oh, how much time is there? Well, actually, he's been months overdue, so it's probably not all that urgent, but still. Get him back for you. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, wait a second, are you going to have to fight them to get their relics? That's probably blasphemous, too. I mean, probably? But if black magic brought them back to life, that's like super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh dear, the cardinal is going to have to want to have a very long talk about this. Go ahead, I suppose. Okay. Wait, don't I have a skull? Guess not. Good luck down there, sure. Look inside. It's empty, curious. Kick him. That is a lot of heads. I'm about to die, aren't I? Okay, um... We're so fucked. We're so fucked. I'm gonna die. Gain the effect angry. Alright. Um... Yeah, I really don't have anything to fight those skulls, so I'm just gonna ignore the skulls and not kick them over. If it's just one, I can take it, but <laughs> can't take multiple. Oh, this is easy. 
It's only when there's like five of them that I have trouble. All right. Look under it. Give me your speed. Listen closely. If I was watching you, that doesn't seem right. It just sounds like gibberish, though. Really creepy gibberish. Put it back. Creepy whispering stone. That's a bit weird. Alrighty. I'll fight, homie. Pew! Give me a pep talk, buddy. I was literally only 2 HP, what? Get him, Pete! Finish him! Oh, you Yeah, that's it, Pete. Get him, Pete! Skeleton bone, fuck yeah. What does this plaque say? Way to Pastel Dos Santo. Plaque, read it. Here lies Saint Beef, as after she died, his body kept trying to raise to heaven. There's so heavy, it kind of flumped around a bunch. Had to turn him into a big stone sarcophagus to put a stop to it. Gross. I don't have enough muscle to open that. Here lies Saint Portada. She was drawn and quartered by heretics, and then the quarter that had her head on it was beheaded. This memory was so effective that body was uh, nobody was able to get her body to stay together even after she was just bones. Hmm. Black. Here lies Saint Pope. He's asking me him for impersonating a pope. Some kind of bureaucratic issue. They weren't able to unbeatify him. Saint Pope stands pathetically behind the dais, or dies. He just keeps doing his Pope gestures, ignoring you. How can someone look so smug without even having a face? The longer you watch him, the more he gets on your nerves. Just insult him. You only should torn him in, insult him, make a sailor blush, and the sailor's mother ashamed of a sailor. There his eyes looks at you and finally managed to make him mad, have enough of you. What? Okay. Reassure me, buddy. You're gonna insta die, aren't you? Right. Um. Let's douse you in kerosene, buddy. And let's shoot you. summon another one right there, isn't he? Oh, no. I should just be able to kill St. Pope and be fine, right? Oh. Immune to poison. God damn it. God dang, there's so many of them. Holy frick. Let me heal myself real quick and then shoot this bastard. I have to wait for all these guys to fucking do their turns. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I can shoot again. Shoot. I'm thinking like maybe two more shots. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I might die here, actually. I have to use meat after this. Because I think I can get, like, if I can get two more gunshots on the Pope, I think it'll kill him, and I highly doubt that it'll keep everyone else alive.
One more shot. I think I can do this. I don't think it'll keep the other dudes alive. It can't, because if it keeps the other dudes alive, there's no way you can beat this boss fight. No. Okay, I was about to say. I was about to say, don't you dare fucking replace that dude in the front there. Or else you're gonna have a fucking problem. God damn, there's so many of you. Alright. There's all still alive. I was thinking that that was going to make all the other ones drop. <laughs> it did not. I'm gonna die. Yep, this is gonna kill me. Talking about the lose fight, you pass out. Uh, 